Hey everyone, so here is my spider tiara and I'm trying a different angle. Maybe this will help, but uh, it's we got a lot of lights on in the studio, but it's a dark tiara. But this is my spider tiara and of course I made it for Halloween and if you can see the spider on the front, the crystals around it, and then you can see the crystals on the side as well. This one is really basic. I say that every time, but this one's pretty basic. It only has uh, five, six pieces to it. So let me show you. So first, the first piece that this is, is this piece right here. And I got this on Etsy. It's a piece of um, silver filigree. It's just, it's pretty thick, but I bent it a little bit so that it would sh fit the shape of the curve here. Not too much, because you can kind of see it still comes up on the sides a little bit but I bent it and then I used um, wire to go through these two spots right here to attach it. So it's just wired right there, right there. And then what I used is these silver branches and they kind of are attached here. And then there's another one that kind of attaches here. So you'll see on the tiara, you've got one here and then you have one it's like right here too so right there so there's just two and they're attached at the bottom and then this one is attached at the top here and then this one is attached on the sides on the, and then also in the center to the to the other branch so there is just uh, five pieces to that part of the tiara so what I did then after I put those pieces and wired them on I spray painted the whole thing black and then I use sandpaper to kind of get some of the silver to come back out. So you'll see all the high points are silver again. And so you kind of see that. So then I used um, an alcohol ink. I used a coral and caramel. I put the coral on first and then I put on caramel and just brushed it on. So you get that kind of orange brownish color that comes through. And once that was done, I sprayed it with a uh, Kmar varnish and then I, a UV varnish so that it wouldn't change color. And that's that effect. It's a really cool effect, I think. And it's really good for Halloween. So once I did that, I took my spider and this, this piece right here was kind of a, like a, grayish silver color. And then the spider itself was like a black metal. So what I did is I took um, a little bit of uh, gold leaf and I gold leafed the legs of the spider. And then I used a little, you can kind of see it right there. So there's a little bit of gold showing through. And then I used the same alcohol ink that I used on the back to kind of color that. And then I colored, of course, the piece on the top as well. So that it matched. It's a cool effect. And then finally, of course, I had to add crystals and I added a bunch of crystals around the piece as well, which really give it a lot of sparkle. You can kind of see them right there. So let me show you the back. So you can see it's all wired down below, right along here. And you can see the wire work there. And right there. And then the spider, once it was done, I just used E6000 to attach the spider as well as the uh, crystals. So once I said, this is from Etsy. I just found a supplier for Etsy. These are also from Etsy as well. These are some of my favorite pieces to use. And then the spider was from Amazon. And then of course the crystals. Some of them come from Wish. Some of them come from other Swarovski companies as well. But I thought that this was a perfect tiara for Halloween. So happy Halloween, everyone. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Talk to you later. Bye.